Saxophonist Mike Aremo's second single this year, titled Nigeria FIFO, is currently generating buzz in his fan base, and the release is right on time for the nation's 57th independence anniversary celebrations. He joins us now by telephone for a quick chat. Many thanks, Mike. Tell us about Nigeria FIFO. I think it was first inspired by the need for Nigeria to be one, and I wrote this song even though it was two years ago, or three years ago, actually, and um, and it was me thinking about Nigeria, and I didn't even think about this time there will be a lot of um, talks about secession, and you know, every every group wanting to go their separate ways. So, and I just thought this is a very very right time to release this song. So it's also inspired by the fact that I grew up in the north, and that means I've experienced. You know, the life in the north before all of this, you know, Boko Haram and all of that. So all this put together just, you know, influenced uh, my writing this song. Interesting. We also see a teaser video in which you're performing the song to an enthusiastic crowd. Tell me about that. You know, I mean, that is uh, the first time I actually performed it was at, was at um, my sax appeal concert in Abuja. And I now did a three and a half minutes, you know, like a studio recording of the same song so that we can, you know, it can be on the air. And the, the point for me is just um, the, the drive for one Nigeria. I just love Nigeria with a passion. And I just cannot imagine anything worse than it's already happening, happening to her. You understand? So um, I thought, you know what, let me push it in through what I know how to do best, my saxophone, my writing of songs. So, I mean, it's been received. So just sending the brokers about the teaser, a lot of people are writing, yes, this is what we, we need, this is what we need. And that, for me, was very, very encouraging. And I know that a lot of people are thinking, you know, have the same minds as well. You know, yes, we have our differences. We're upset about so many things, but the uh, uh, dividing Nigeria is definitely not the way to go. I'm sure many people agree with you on that. Are there other plans for this song? I have a video which has been animated, you know, and I didn't know that it takes so much to, to do animation, even more than shooting your normal video, you know. It's so much, you know, uh, work has been put into that. So there's a video coming in that which has a very, very interesting storyline, you know, and I can tell you what the storyline is ahead, you know, so you know what to expect. You know, the, the storyline is just telling us that, listen, when anything evil or anything bad happens, the most affected, the most vulnerable people are the women and children and the poor people. That is what the video is trying to uh, portray. So, when, I mean, by, I'm hoping by, 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 by next week, you know, you start seeing the video. But Nigerian people is definitely coming in this season of, of Nigerian independence. Great. Many thanks for speaking with us, Mike. All the best and happy independence.